Hello. So today I will teach you how to make attendance and survey form through Google Forms with Teacher Beam. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will be updated to my latest video. Google Forms is a tool that allows collecting of information from a users through a personalized survey or quizzes. This kind of survey form and attendance form can easily send online and collect information instantly. The information is collected and then automatically it's connected to a spreadsheet so we can easily see the collected data. So, how can we make this kind of forms? So, that I will teach you today on this video. For the first step, log in to your Gmail account. Go to your Google account. Now, you are already in your Gmail account, as you can see. Then, on the upper right, click the Google Apps icon. Next, on the Google Apps, look, choose, and click Forms. Click the Forms icon, as you can see. Then, after that, a new tab will open. This is the Google Forms, as you can see. Then next, click blank on the Start a New Form. For the next step, change the untitled form in your title. We will change it to Attendance Form. As you can see, you are in the questions part of this form. Then, below the title, from description, click there to add description of your attendance form. For example, our description is science class, grade 5, section A. This is the description of our attendance form, and this is for Section A, Grade 5. Next step, click the Untitled Question to edit and add question for this attendance. But first, look at the right side of the question, the icons. We have here Add Questions, Add Image, Add Files or Description, Add Image, Add video and add section. And here on that, we can see the different type of questions we can make. We have for short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multi choice, grid, check box, grid, for date and time type of question. For this, we'll, we will select short answer. Then, again, click on title question to edit and add questions. For this, we will get or ask their first name. Next, below the right side, click required. It means they need and required to answer the question. If you want to delete the question, just click the trash icon below. Next, click on the right side, the plus icon, to add again a question. At this part of the attendance form, we will ask the middle name. And we will click again, short answer, and click required. Then, next, add again a question. Then, 
this time, we will ask for their surname, short answer, and click Required. Okay, for the next question, we will have multiple choice. We will ask their gender. Okay, type the question, gender. Next, click the option 1 below the question to edit. Multiple choice question. We will add male. For the next option, we will add female. This is an example of multiple choice question. There is an options. They will just click their answer on the options. Then click again required. For the next step, add email address in the question. Then after that, click enable collection setting below. Then click required also. This is quite important because they will have a copy of their attendance form on that day in their email. Then, click change setting on the email address question. Click response receipts. Click always. Then after that, click save. And now, after you finish the attendance form, click the send icon on the upper right. Now, you may send it by email or copy the link that can be sent through Facebook Messenger of the students. Or can be sent also in the Twitter account. Click copy to copy the link. For example, you already sent the attendance form to one of your student. Next, you will just click response near to the questions to see who answered the attendance form already. Now, you can see the name of your students who fill up the attendance form. Next step, click the green icon on the upper right to view the response on Sheets. This will open for a new tab. As you can see, we have here the attendance form response in a Sheets way. This attendance response is in a table form and easily understand and can see. You can save also the response and share it to your email or save it to your desktop. So you will have also a copy of the attendance. Next now is for survey form. Next is just open a new forms, blank forms, then change the title to survey form and add a description. We have here an example. First, just click add question, the plus sign on the side, to add question. We will have first a short answer. We will first ask their email address, which is very important. Then, enable collecting, change the settings, don't restrict it so it can be answered, whoever will get the link and click always to response receipt next is add again a short answer question for their name and information now is the time for the questions for this survey form we will have a multiple choice question type so we will type the question, then after that we will have the options. Example, first question, my teacher makes me feel that he or she
cares on me. Then for our option, first we have always. Add again an option. Next we have usually. Third option, add again sometimes. And the fourth option is never or not at all. Then after that, click required. For the next step, just click the duplicate icon below so that you will have the same question, same options. You will just change the question to another one. It is the same type of question, a multiple choice question. What you will only change is the question. If you have the same options, just duplicate the question. Then, after you finish the survey form, click again send on the upper right side. Then, you may send it again by email or copy the link. So, you can see easily send it through the messenger or Twitter of your participants. Now, we have here one example of one response. You can see here the data collected, the information, the name, the account, and the answer. On the survey form. Again, to view it in a sheet, just click the green icon on the upper right side, then create. It will result for a new tab and you will see the survey form in a sheet. So this is the answers. Okay, so hope you learned today how to make an attendance and survey form. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.